I'm Dr. Yap Chilo. I'm a consultant general and upper GI surgeon in Glenigas, Kuala Lumpur. I'm going to talk briefly about stomach cancer today. Cancer is a disease or a situation when our body starts to grow out of control and it can spread to other parts of the body. When this happens, it's life-threatening. I'm sure all of us uh, have watched a uh, horror movie before, especially uh, zombies. Uh, in this kind of situation, zombies, when they, once they get infected, they become very aggressive and they start to eat normal human beings. This is the exact situation that happens in cancer diseases. Stomach cancer simply means that cancer disease happen in the stomach. Age is definitely a risk factor for all types of cancer, including stomach cancer. This means that uh, the older one person gets, the risk of getting stomach cancer is higher. Having said that, now we are seeing patients uh, with stomach cancer with, at a younger age. This, has, this simply means that we human being is evolving with time. Certain diet has been proven to be uh, a risk factor of developing stomach cancer, uh, namely the processed food, the raw food, and also the pickled food. That's explain why certain countries, especially, especially in East Asia, uh, has the highest uh, incidence of stomach cancer. Few stomach diseases are the cause of stomach cancers. It has been proven that any patient with Helicobacter pylori infection in the stomach they have at least 20 times risk of developing stomach cancer later in their life. Any causes of chronic gastritis are also the risk factor for stomach cancer. In early stage of uh, stomach cancer, patients do not normally have any symptom at all. As the disease progresses, they might have uh, presentations like pain in abdomen, nausea, vomiting, uh, significant loss of weight, uh, passing out black color stool, meaning that the stomach probably start, have started to uh, bleed. When they reach advanced stage, they might not be able to eat at all. They start to lose a lot of weight. Their appetite has been, is going to be very poor and they will, their general health will deteriorate rapidly. The best method to detect gastric cancer is to perform an endoscopy. Uh, this is a procedure when, where there's a scope with the camera in front of the scope. It's in, been inserted through the mouth into the stomach so that we can visualize the whole stomach directly and to take some biopsy if there's a tumor detected. After that, we might need to do a complete uh, uh, staging of the tumor that will include a CT scan of the whole body. Stomach cancers can somewhat be prevented if we can treat the stomach diseases that can cause stomach cancer later on. Uh, one of the examples is Helicobacter pylori infection in the stomach. If we can detect this infection much earlier and treat it and eliminate this uh, infection, stomach cancer can be prevented. My take-home message today is to emphasize the importance of early detection in stomach cancer. A lot of us simply ignore our symptom and abdomen and always label it as gastric pain. The best thing to do at that time is to get it checked, namely an endoscopy, as early as possible. Mm -hmm.